What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on the Dark Knight playthrough and it's time to fight the next boss. Should be fun. We need to defeat Baragi. This is the dude with the with the ads. This is so weird now how it spawns you in because it like it spawns them in and then it kind of does this like weird animation where no one's moving except you. You're kind of like walking forward. It's like really weird. Wheel of Fortune, get rid of the ad. And there's there's old good there's good old Baragi down for the count. <laughs> that was the strong guy? What a wimp. What were the humans even talking about? Alright, so Black Spirit Gift, and then next quest is the securing of the safe passage, but that is not what we're going to do in this video. We picked up a black stone armor piece so in this episode we're gonna go we're gonna go leveling but we're gonna go i know technically we should probably go to either baragi den bandit red orc camp delphi knight's castle but we're gonna go to safris or kafiris cave i don't even know if i have this unlocked if not i'll find it on the map but let me just find it on the map hold on Okay, so it looks like looks like it's over here. Ah, here it is. Kafris Cave. So this is where we're gonna farm in this episode. I think uh doing some different stuff in these episodes is more exciting and a little bit more fun than just, oh, here's more story. I mean we already have a bunch of videos just based solely on the story, and we're gonna be continuing the witch here soon. The witch will make its return here soon, but I think we've done, we, we, we have plenty of like story related elements that I want to, I want to do some other stuff. Let me grab this black spirit gift. Ooh, I actually picked up a stone, an armor and weapon stone from this episode so far. What I want to do is I'm going to save these up and then eventually sell them all once I, so I actually should have reward to claim. Yeah. So... Claim my loyalty. Okay. I'm saving all of these up. I'm going to redeem them eventually. I'm going to redeem them after I get all my characters level 55. I'm going to do a video on it. Um, so I'm just saving them up for now because I don't need it. I don't need the money. It's a lot of money. I mean, right now it's these are all 1 million, right? So 2, 4, 6, 9 million plus 5 of these. The increased skill in combat scrolls. I'm going to save those and we're going to put them on the ranger when I do... Either, I don't know if I'm going to do the hero to zero on the ranger or just a fast playthrough speed run on the ranger. Just see how fast we can level up on that. That That's still yet to be fully decided. Uh, I have a while. It's going to be a while before I have like free room on the channel. Because I, I want to finish up like everything before I even consider starting on that. And uh, so that video is going to be a little bit of a while away but that'll be the first episode of that uh series we'll be re we'll be redeeming all of this stuff and getting it to a stable point um i'm hoping maybe by how this is going that on may maybe june maybe early june we'll get the next characters to release i think that would be really nice i have no i have zero inclination or anything about that but it would make sense we finished up the uh We'll have finished up the event for the new characters. It'll give us a couple weeks off uh, without an event, and then it'll move on quickly. But for this, also the cool thing is, is that you get all of these cool items at level 45 and uh, 55. You get these Elian's Tears, which I really like, and I really need them. So I'm going to get 40 of those, which is really cool. We also get these Hard Black Crystal Shards and Sharp Black Crystal Shards, as, as well as Advice of the Valks, plus 15. Um, so this is a scroll that contains advice from Valks about enhancement. Your enhancement chance will become plus 15 and only affects the enchantment chance accumulated from failed enchantments. So that's really nice. I don't know how much. I'll probably save that for later. I don't know when I'll necessarily need that. If you can sell it, I'll probably sell it. We also get this enchantment, uh, enhancement help kit one. It gives you five Valks cries, five weapon and armors, uh, black stones, five memory fragments. And that's just a lot of money at level 55. So, I gotta get all of these characters level 55, and w when I redeem all this, it should be for, if I sell it all, 300 million maybe? I mean, 
you're auto guaranteed. So when you auto do these, let's see. So I really, it hasn't been, it feels like it's been 50 days since this game came out. It's gonna, we're, we're close. We gotta be at like 40 something. Can't believe 500 days. I can't even, I uh, can't even imagine the 500th day of this game. What that's gonna be like. Look at all the time played on characters. Crazy. But um, let's get back to what I was gonna say. At minimum, when you get everything to level, um, when you get everything to level 55, it's 8 million, then it's 12 million, so you're at 20 million, and then it's plus, you're at minimum 60 million if you don't sell anything. You're at minimum 60 million if you don't sell anything, and then I'm trying to factor in all the stuff you can sell. I think you'll hit somewhere in the 200 million range, at least 200 million seems about right. Might be less. Okay, so here is our farm spot right here. Let's let's get right into this. I don't think I've ever farmed here before. I mean, obviously they're over leveled for me. Actually, what the? Can I not kill these things at all? What is happening? Wait, am I getting experience for? Hold on. Do I get an experience? What is happening? I don't think I've ever farmed here. And I am not... I'm not used to how this works. Okay, well, I killed one finally. Okay, that was just all sorts of weird. I understand I'm a little bit underleveled for this, and it's not giving me the greatest of experience, but I wanted to come here because I'd never come here before, but this is... This is all new types of really weird. This is such a weird area. Because, like, all the enemies you hit, this is really weird. You hit an enemy, and then they don't necessarily die. They go into, like, this weird possessed state where you can't hit them. And you have to wait, and then you can kill them. This is a really, really weird place to farm. I don't know if it's because I'm under level that this is happening, but... And they don't kite easily. They, like... They go, oh, okay, when they notice you is when they go into that, like, weird frenzied state. Okay, we'll try this for a little bit. I, I don't know. I don't really know how this is gonna... We might be going somewhere else. This is weird. On a new level of weird. I mean, I make pretty slight work of them. But this is just a really, really, really weird area. I can't say, I can't say I'm a big fan of it. What? How is that not hitting that? Oh, it's because they're doing the frenzy. I thought I was just too far away, and it just wasn't counting it, but no. Yeah, I don't know about, I don't know about this area. I don't know about, I don't know about this. I thought this area might be kind of good, but it's really not that good. A hole in the ground or just copper seal black spirit is pouring out of the pit this must have been the reason why adventures in the cave went insane all right see it just is so slow because they're so you know you have to hit them once and then then they become actually hittable because they don't aggro extremely fast yeah, let's get out of here Let's get out of here. Actually, I'll use my last 50 seconds of this boost that I have, I guess. But, like, look how slow this is. Look how many... It's like, it's a while before you actually can do anything to them. It's tragic, because I actually think this place could be kind of good. Alright, let me... Oh, those guys just actually straight died. Okay, that's good. Hello, everybody. Can we all, you know, aggro? Hurry up. I got 15 seconds before this wears off. need you all to aggro. Before my XP boost wears off. Let's die. Yep, there we go. Okay, well... Let's go... Let's go find another place to farm here. Let me come up here. Where, where else can we farm? 
We're level 33. I, it's probably just best to go to the Delphi Knight's Castle, which I really hate because it's just that stupid Harpies. But that's probably the best place is the Delphi Knight's Castle. It's tragic. I mean, we could go to Karudo Cave. We could go to Karudo Cave. But that's also a, another little bit higher low. Well, actually, we're, we're appropriately low. Let's just go to Karudo Cave. The Delphi Knight we've all seen because it's part of the main story. So we'll go to Karudo Cave. I, don't, I, I tried to farm there on this character in the last episode, but we were not appropriately low. Was it last episode or two episodes ago? In one of the previous episodes, uh, we tried to farm in Karudo Cave, but we were just under leveled and I wasn't getting as stacked experience as I thought so that served as kind of a pointless area I have let's see we did get some decent stuff out of that we got this black spirit soul water which uh we can exchange 10 for a magic crystal of nature and swiftness I don't know where we do that but we can do that we also picked up three armor stones in, in a very short amount of time. That area might be really good for farming money if those things drop those a lot. Um, because obviously each armor and weapon crystal are somewhere between two to 300,000 if you take tax out somewhere between like 175 and 260. Somewhere around there. So if you get like four of those, you know, every once in a while, four of those every 10 minutes or so, that's... That's 6 mil without anything else factored in per hour, which is pretty nice. Nothing crazy, but, but pretty nice. Let me know if you guys like the format of these episodes. These are kind of more informal episodes where we just kind of go around and do whatever the heck I want to do. Um, there's not really a... There's not really a uh, rhyme or reason to these episodes to the dark knight episodes which i kind of like they're a little bit more what the i just got stunned in the next hello there's a lot of guys here a little crowd control with with good old wheel of fortune all right let's go into the cave just gonna ignore this guy these guys and get deeper into the cave Alright, if anybody's chasing me, I'll kill you. Alright, let's get... Let's go slaughter inside the cave, even though... Looks like that person cleared most of them out. How many... What percentage do these... Eh, they give a little bit under a percent. wonder what this area is considered for, like purposes of the game. What does the game consider this area? Thir 27 to 31, really? I mean, you want places where you can one-shot enemies because it speeds up the process. You both get more money and because you're killing everything quicker, and you also... You also get more experience because you're killing everything faster. I mean, this 27 to 31 is probably the appropriate to have a challenge while fighting these guys. But I don't think it's the best in terms of... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. It's probably not the best in terms of grinding XP at that level. Like this, no one's up here. Leaves it nice and open for me. I will save you, Delphi Knight, from from being sacrificed by the Karudos. Break open the prisons. Hello. Like six guys standing in a doorway. Why are there so many of them right here? I'm trying to figure out a rotation around here. This, the way I've been going actually doesn't look too bad in terms of a rotation. Oh, I totally messed it up. Alright. Now, I guess we can try this. Let's see here. 
So I'm trying to figure out where I initially started. So I went, so I go around here. I think I found it. I, I might I might have a route here. Kill you. Eh, I'll come over well. I wanted it to... It did, like, the short attack, which is not what I wanted. We're getting some good loot on this character. Which is nice. Alright, so there's level 34. I gotta at least get to level 35 before I call it an episode. That's probably where we'll call it. Before starting the next... I think we came up here, right? And then we went through this doorway. Only I don't think the enemies have respawned. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a rotation, but none of the enemies have respawned, so it doesn't exactly do me a lot of good if my rotation is good, but the enemies don't respawn fast enough. So let's go... Let's go over here. We'll go over here and kill some more enemies over here, and then we'll go back for the rotation. This attack... The right... The right trigger is just so much better than the right bumper, because it has so much more range. That attack. If you can get that attack to, to lunge you that far, it's just so good for moving through this area, or moving through any area really fast. Alright, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna kill these guys, and then we're gonna go back. I wish Wheel of Fortune had just a... How is that not hitting it? I wish Wheel of Fortune just had a little bit more range. I think it would be... I think it would be really good if it had just a little bit more range. That's just my opinion. If it could hit just a little bit farther... I think it would be a really good attack. That lawn really just cleared the area that I was... Should have just camped up there and waited for... Respawn. I thought that was a big enemy, not a prison. There's my big enemy I was looking for. One in the back. One in the side that counted as a back attack. Okay. Yeah, that shit cleared all the, the lawn killed all of my enemies. Tragic, dude. Freaking tragic. No, she didn't kill these enemies. I'll take it, whatever. She didn't kill. Why is it not... It's not doing my B attack. Oh, it's on cooldown. I forgot I accidentally used it. There we go. Did it kill all the enemies out here? Yeah. Alright, let's push in here. Oh, well, one lonely enemy respawned. So that's something. Alright, we're at 34%. We're getting there. We're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. Is there an enemy behind me? What did I just get hit by? I don't know, but I'll save you, Delphi Knight. I like this area, but man, if there's people here, it turns into kind of a crapshoot on if you're going to get good experience here. I think I, yeah, I tracked its enemies, nice. That's not what I wanted, I wanted the, I wanted the bee, oh my gosh, dude. I gotta get better at taking my finger off of left trigger, because I keep it on there, and it really messes things up, because some of my combos are completely different combos if I have my finger on left trigger, it just doesn't work. Like, my B, like, I want to use B, I want to combo into B and do that slam attack, but if I'm holding left trigger, it does Wheel of Fortune, which is not what I want. Alright, here we go. My enemies respawned up here on my little, my little route. We're getting a lot of weapons and stuff. Which, in the scheme of everything, don't hold a whole lot of value, but they're not, they're better than getting nothing. 
is this over here? Arrow mushroom? Well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted whatever this blue stuff was. Which I'm sure is for mining. I should just take out, like, a couple hours and go around and just gather stuff and get that skill up. Two big boys? We're at 56%. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like this area for farming, but I, I don't know. I don't know about farming it for a while, because the returns, the yielded returns that you're getting on this are not very good. Like, the items are fine, but if there's anybody else but you here, I mean, you're just chances of actually having a fast level up in these caves is just kind of meh. It's a real meh. Come here. What? Would you just die? Oh my gosh. Fine. Go go back to where you came from. I'll leave you alone. Whatever. Shot you in the back. Let's see. This person and I are trying to compete for these different spots and it's just not... It's just turning into kind of a, a bad scenario here. Of just not getting as much experience as we would want in an area like this. It turns into me like kind of meandering through dead areas that don't have any enemies in them. Or re-farming areas that don't have every enemy respawned yet. Like the big guys aren't respawned right now in this area. Which is not ideal for, you know, it's not ideal for getting experience. Oh, we got another weapon. You're free. But yeah, it's taking a lot longer to get to, like, level than I think it would if no one else was here. So this is probably a good, like, early in the morning NA time or, like, real late at night type farming spot when hopefully no one else is here. I mean, there, it's not very crowded here. I mean, there's only, like, three of us here, but... It still limits the output of experience when there's a people here. Because it, it ruins, even if you, like, have a route you love and it's kind of an obscure route, odds are is someone else's is going to overlap your route. And then you're skipping enemies and it throws off your timing. That's just my opinion. So with all that being said, we're about to hit... We're about to hit the goal level for this episode. Stop playing Ring Around the Rosy. I think I'm... I'm oh, gosh, I actually did, I actually did Wheel of Fortune again. We're at 92.5%. I don't want to go back up that way. That's not going to give me enough enemies to kill. We got another blade. So, see, now all the big boys have respawned. But I don't think all of the little... Yeah, not all the little dudes have respawned now. It's just the, the awkward state of farming this is right now. But we're almost there. This room right here might, might actually do it. Yeah, it's gonna do it. There we go. There's level 35. Finally completed it. So I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Nice little farming. We, we did get some decent stuff. I am going to get out of here. I'm going to set my quest to go to the next area. Because I have to go story quest before the next episode. Here we go. It's actually right when I'm about to call the episode, I get a nice little respawn off on everything. Alright, so I think that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We'll take a quick look at all the items we got. I have to auto-path out of here because it's going to take us into a wall. Okay. Not bad. Look at all of those weapons we got. We got a ton of weapons. We didn't get any more of the armor stones or anything like that, but look at all the weapons. Should be able to list them up, sell them anywhere from like 30,000 to 100,000 as my character runs into a wall. 30,000 to 100,000 a piece, which is not bad at all. Uh, maybe we get lucky with a couple of them being in the $200,000 range, but uh, you never really know. Well, 
you do know once you have them all memorized. I don't. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next Black Desert video. Peace.